In Huskers Illustrated Radio, presented by the Nebraska Lottery, live from Chicago. Media days continue. Time to talk Penn State, Nebraska fans well known about that Penn State, Nebraska rivalry whenever they'd hook up in the past in those great non conference battles. November 12th, it'll be a whiteout at Beaver Stadium. Joined by Joe Suey, talented back with the Penn State squad, a senior. And, of course, your father, the longtime fullback, Matt Suey, for the Chicago Bears, blocked for sweetness for so many years. And, Joe, uh, tell us a little bit about this Penn State team and just from a personal standpoint, how you've excelled, how you've continued to get better once you've hit this senior season, your growth as a player. Yeah, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to this year. And, and me personally, you just got to, you know, during these off seasons, you just got to work hard in the weight room. You know, have a positive spring, um, stay healthy, um, and this summer really, you know, work hard, get your conditioning down, and get ready to go. When you look at your role on the team, you're kind of a spot guy. You'll get a carry here and there. You'll catch the ball out of the backfield. You'll do it all, but primarily, you do a nice job of clearing the way and uh, and doing some blocking. Um, are, are you comfortable with that role, or do you expect more touches this year in your final year? No, I'm definitely comfortable with that, and, I, and, and most importantly, I want to do whatever the team needs me to do. Um, anything that's going to give us the best chance to win is what I want to do. You know, whether it's catching the ball, whether it's running, or you know, obviously blocking. That's it's kind of been my role, and that's kind of you know I'm comfortable there. Tell us a little bit about the Penn State offense. Uh, who do you think is going to emerge quarterback? Who do you have coming back on the offensive line? Can it be a better offense this season? You know, I definitely think it could be a better. I think, definitely think it's going to be a better offense this season. Um, you know, quarterback-wise, we have two guys who we're, you know, really confident in. And, you know, we don't know who, who it's going to be, and it, you know, doesn't matter who it's going to be. We're confident the coaches are going to put us in the right position to and get the right guy in there to lead our team. You know, offensive line, we have, you know, guys like Johnny Troutman coming back, you know, uh, Quinn Barham, uh, Chima Coli, all, all, you know, older guys, all leaders, and, and we're excited. Well, you look at that offensive side of the ball, there were flashes last season where you guys put up some great numbers. From a uh, Big Ten perspective, and knowing what you know about Big Ten football being in it for so many years, what's your take on Nebraska moving into the neighborhood? You know, I think the buzz around here is unbelievable. You know, because of Nebraska, because of the championship game, and, and, and everyone's excited for the opportunity to play Nebraska. You know, we've been, you know, watching them the last couple of years and, and seeing how great of a team they are and how great a tradition they have. And, you know, Penn State and Nebraska have had some great games in the past. Um, so we're just excited to, to continue that. It's our crossover game. We're going to be playing them every year. And we really look forward to it. What should Nebraska fans expect when they hit the Happy Valley? I know the last time you guys just rocked, it was like 41-7. to Back in 2002, Penn State really clobbered Nebraska in Happy Valley. Has the uh, the fan support, I know it's still over 100,000, but are the fans even crazier now than you think maybe they were back then? You know, I'd say so. I think I think it's just an unbelievable environment. I think, you know, especially if I'm sure Nebraska is going to be a big whiteout game. And, you know, first time we played them in, in however many years, and it's just going to be exciting. And and, and the buzz around here and, and the buzz around Penn State is just, you know, excited for the year and excited for the possibility of what could be, and especially, you know, playing Nebraska. What have you heard about the Nebraska defense? We've heard quite a lot, and, and, and they have some great individual players, and, and they're great at the team defense, and, and it's going to be a challenge, and there's no question it's going to be a tough game, and, and they're such a good defense, but, you know, we're going to prepare and, and get ready to go. Talk about playing for Coach Paterno. I mean, he's coached so many years. He's a legend. He's amazing. He's leader in wins. How does he still relate to guys that are in their early 20s? And, I mean, I'm not being mean by asking that. It's just... There, there is a, a quite an age gap, and he still yeah. recruits well. It seems like. Yeah, I mean, he, and he still does, and, and, and he still does relate. You know, he finds a way. You know, he he's around media, he makes everyone laugh, and he kind of relates to everybody. And, and and his credibility and what he's done to the game of football, you know, really speaks for itself. And and no matter how old you are, you you see that, and you you understand what he's meant, you know, to Penn State, and and it's exciting, and kids want to be a part of that. Well, I'll tell you what, best of luck to you, Joe Suey, fullback for Penn State, senior, one of the leaders on offense and in the locker room. Best of luck, man. Thanks. Thank you very much. In Huskers Illustrated.